Hello! Here are some lip products I have been enjoying, which we sadly won't be able to wear them out for a while. But alright, let's jump right into it. The first product is from Lily by Red. This is a Korean brand and this is from their Mood Liar Velvet Tint range. And I got this in the shade 03 Apricot. The bottle is really cute. A few twists off its edge of packaging and off comes the top. There is quite a lot of product in this too. Applying it is so satisfying as it glides off really nicely. And just look at that colour. So I just did like 3 stripes to make the colour even but it's not Adidas. I tried to blend it over here and because it takes some time for this product to blend, let me just fast forward that. It will definitely dry to a semi-matte finish, so I would say it will still transfer but definitely lesser. And it's best to apply a, a thin coat of lip balm to prevent a very dry texture. Next up, we have this from the Better Lips Talk range by Etude House. And I think they have a range of shades and I took so long to swatch them and finally found something that I really like. This is in the shade PK003 Gentle Pink. The good thing about this is also that the cap is magnetic, so it's really convenient not to lose that cap. The colour of the lipstick may look a little dark, but when you apply it, we can see how nice this shade is. The texture of this is definitely not as drying compared to the Lily by Red one. And if you try to blend it out, the colour is pretty much the same. This is a really sweet colour and is something I reach for when I want a brighter or cute look. Now this may look meh, and it's because there's literally no print on this except for the shade. So I was randomly swatching lip products and I found this. It's from the brand Black Rook, and I wouldn't say it's a super popular brand, but hey, let me know. And oh yes, this is from the range Mousse Blending, and I got this in shade S03. I took a long time deciding on this colour, but let's just take a look at how nice this is. Just look at how clean this is. The colour is amazing. Blending it out gives you this dark coral colour, and I must say it looks so damn good. The finish is matte and definitely not drying at all, leaving your lips smooth and it doesn't feel heavy. I would say it looks like a tint, but better. I highly highly recommend this and I'm so glad I found this good find. Hope I didn't hype the product too much for you guys, but well, doesn't hurt to check this out, right? I honestly have trouble pronouncing the name of this brand, but this is from Mamonde. This is from the range Highlight Lip Tint Velvet and I got shade number 2 Red Crush. You can see that the colour is brighter than the previous products. It does still have that cute and girly feel to this and I must say that this is very watery and it definitely stains everything from your teeth to your food and so you can blend it down such that it has a less you know staining effect. I think this is an okay product so I only reach for this when I want to create a bolder statement look. So this is a really versatile one. This is the Dear Darling Water Tint from Etude House and you can see how watery this tint is so be sure to tap the excess off. So well, a tint being a tint, it's very watery so you can see over here it's just a super watery mark. So be sure to blend this down. And this tint works two ways, which is why it's versatile. It works on your lips as well as on your cheeks. Over here, it dries down really nicely. So do be sure to blend it over the areas where you want this tint to stay because it stays. And you can see that it doesn't budge at all, which is really helpful on days where you want just a no fuss natural makeup look. 
This is also really helpful for beginners because it is really light and natural and it's affordable so you can always choose to use it on the lips, your cheeks and you can see how nicely this sits on your skin. This is from Urban Decay and uh, oops, I just gotta turn this around and yes. This is the Vice Lipstick in shade Rapture. Now this colour takes a darker tone compared to the previous lip products and it is more towards purple than pink. The texture is creamy and it applies very well. And because of its creamy texture, it doesn't dry the lips, so that is a plus point. There is minimal shine and it does transfer. So this lipstick is something I will reach for when I want to create a more mature or chic look. And we have the MAC Powder Kiss in Mandarin O. I got this off a sale recently and it was my first ever MAC product. And I really, really love it. The cap comes, comes off really nicely too. And the pa packaging just looks fancy schmancy as well. Well, the color is Mandarin Coral-ish. <laughs> you can see that I'm trending towards a coral shade or range because that matches my skin tone better. It does finish off matte and it has a hint of sim similarity uh, in terms of the finish to the black root one earlier. So now we're just applying it one time. You can see that it's pretty light but definitely something that you can build on. So here's me just increasing the intensity of it and building it on a little further. It does transfer slightly but it is not overly drying so you don't see the cracks. It can be buildable and you don't really need to blend it much because you can see from here it's pretty much the same colour. And I definitely recommend this because of how well it sits on top of the lips. And that is it! It's a pity we won't be wearing these out for a while, but it doesn't hurt to wear them for virtual meetings and on days where you just need a little perk me up. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and till then, cheers!